Eagles star receiver A.J. Brown calls out rumors to the questions people are saying that him and quote-unquote Jalen Hurts have problems and the Eagles want him out or he wants to leave. He wants to be traded in that conversation. And he said, look, that's BS. It's complete bullshit. I want to stay with Philadelphia Eagles. I'm happy here. I love it here. And he said something that was really interesting. He said, look, nobody said this when we're in consecutive games. When we were six games in a row, seven games in a row, whatever it is, nobody was saying I had a problem then. I started losing some games and people were like, oh yeah, A.J. Brown is looking to be traded. You know, he's got problems with Jalen Hurts and there's an issue and we shouldn't be. And, and I understand that because I, I really understand that because as a player, a former player, the minute you lose, people start pointing fingers. That's normal. But I got to tell you, the entire time that I watched him, if you watch his program, I've always talked about Jalen Hurts because he's the leader of the offense. I didn't say anything really about A.J. Brown that much. I just said, look, it's in the media that A.J. Brown's looking at, possibly looking around because it's been all over the news. But the truth is, if you understand the NFL, this is very interesting. When you're winning, the morale is great, right? It's obvious. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. Man, look at Jalen Hurts. Look at A.J. Brown. One of the best tandems in football. You can't beat them in Philadelphia. The fans are great. Look at this team rock. Like, that's what we're talking about, right? It's been great. And then all of a sudden, they start losing some games. What happens? People start talking smack. People start talking shit. There's issues in the locker room. And A.J. Brown's like, come on, give me the ball. Jalen Hurts is like, I'm throwing you the ball. You're not jumping high enough. You're not running the best routes. Then it's like the head coach isn't calling the best plays. Or the offensive coordinator's not calling the best plays. And all of a sudden, turmoil, turmoil in Philadelphia. But here's the thing. A.J. Brown says, I never wanted to leave. I always wanted to be here. And the truth is, the Eagles have to make some changes. Is Kelsey coming back? Jason Kel Kelsey at the center position, right? They're going to make some changes to the offensive line. Is Jalen Hurts going to have more emotion this year? Right? Are they going to bring some excitement? Um, are they going to have turmoil in the locker room? Like all these things are important in the National Football League. And that's why I break that down week in and week out. Because yeah, you can have the great player. You can have the number one draft pick. You can have a great coach. You can have all these things. But if your organization isn't dialed in for when you're losing to battle back and hush the media, we're good, right? There's got to be a certain point where you step up to the media and go, we're good. And he did a good job. Listen, I got to tell you, when he had those questions, he said, I'm happy here. I like Philadelphia. I'm very happy in this location. Next question. He handled that perfectly. A lot of people get up there and they start saying, well, this is that. And, you know, we had a bad game here. And this is what happened in the locker room. That's the problem. You open up more conversation, more questions. And people start talking more shit. Instead of just saying, hey, I'm good here. Next question. I loved how he answered that. And I look forward to seeing A.J. Brown next season playing with the Philadelphia Eagles. If you're watching this right now, good morning to you. I appreciate everyone that comes in here and communicates with me live here for the first time. Comment. Don't be scared to comment. That's how we're going to expand our program. The more people that hit the like button and subscribe here, we're going to expand our network. And I'm not going to take those opportunities that came early on with these networks. I'm going to stay here and keep building the Brandon Mason show. So I really appreciate you guys. If you're in here for the first time, comment where you are and where you're from. But yeah, like I said, A.J. Brown, the fact that he called out the rumors and he said, look, the rumors, I'm staying here, I'm happy here. That's got to be great for Philadelphia. They got guys who come back healthy. They'll get some draft picks. And I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to see what the Eagles do next season. I know heading into this offseason, we're going to cover the full NFL draft. We're going to cover what the Eagles do, who they pick up. I think it's important. It's interesting. And we're going to find out if the Kelsey brothers step away from football or they come back. I got a feeling they're coming back. I think Patrick Mahomes, obviously, and the Kansas City Chiefs, they're going to keep on building their program. I think Travis Kelsey wants to come back. I think they're going to get Andy Reid to come back. And if they do, that might push Jason Kelsey to come back. The question is, will he be with the Philadelphia Eagles? That's a question we're going to have to cover and talk about real soon because Jason Kelsey has some opportunities, whether it's in Philadelphia or not. Hope he does because they have a great ball club. They can come back next year and be stronger. Hey, guys, thanks for watching and tuning into the Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.